All right, so uh, just trying out the camera and the mic. Going for a little bit of a walk, seeing what life is like here at the uh, at Cicada Springs RV Park. You know, we really like being here. Um, really like the people, the owners, especially just really salt of the earth, kind, generous, uh, great, just great people. There's really nothing. I don't know how what you can say except for the fact that they're really wonderful people. One of the things I really like about being here is that the park is always kept well. The place, the place, the grass is always cut. They do a lot of maintenance. In fact, I'm going to give you a couple examples of maintenance and park upgrades and things as we walk, just because I think some of that's important. So we're coming up to an area, and I don't know if you can see this behind me, but this whole driveway area over here has been renovated, brand new concrete. As you notice, as we walk along through this next section, you'll see a lot of RV sort of carports, those overhangs. There's one in the background right there. I know there is, you can see it. As we walk along, you're gonna see this whole area it's just full of them. So it's nice. You know, we were talking a minute, a second ago about maintenance. And I just want to show you this tree right there. I don't know how well you can see it, but there's a lot of trimming that's been done because storms, things that aren't working, the tree limbs are broken, tree limbs are, tree limbs are dead. Just really nice at the way they take care of the park. So here we are, walking along this new leg. Um, and uh, you can start to see a, one of those RV carports behind me. It's brand new. I believe they're from a company called Carolina Carport, but I have to check with Jeff, see if that's the case. And we walk along this whole section, which you see here, Cicada Springs, is that because we're part of a, we're next, next to an army base, there's a lot of patriotism here. A lot of people are very much, uh, very strong Americans, very much pro-military, pro-country. You know, really a lot of people gather together, just, uh, you know, make great neighbors. What can I tell you? Make great neighbors, great people to be around. All right, so we're walking along the farthest edge of the park. I wanna say that we're walking north along the fence. See there's a fence in the area right there. A little bit of a drainage creek, but we're walking along the edge of the park. We're gonna get down here to the end. Again, brand new concrete, brand new facilities, really great. Some of the stories about getting all this work done over this last year were sort of something to behold, something to be heard, but from Jeff and Nancy and, and uh, Robert and others, but really good times. One of the real salient features I think of this park is that it's right up against a larger city park where there's a lot of walking trails, biking trails, and I think farther over there's a bunch of like baseball diamonds, soccer courts, and so on. But what you get I'll spin it around here just a second. You'll get a whole bunch of areas for like dogs and things to walk. I don't know how well that comes through over there, but that whole area is an area where pets, you know, your dogs can run. They can really enjoy themselves. You see people walking over there all the time. You see people running, bikes, kids on rollerblades and what have you. Really a good time. Hopefully the wind isn't too bad and hopefully the windscreen's working, but we'll find out when we get back after all of this. Throw it up on the on the Mac and see what see what it sounds like, see what it looks like. Looking forward to it. I uh, stupidly didn't bring the controller, so we're getting what we're getting. Alright, we're gonna make just another little loop here. This is really sort of the Backwards loop, Woo, a lot of wind, of the loop I make when um, I'm walking the pups. 
and uh, let's see, I'll spin it around a little bit, and here we go. All right, so everybody's doing well. Here comes a car, they're probably gonna wonder, what the Tootsie Fruit is this guy doing up over here? But you know, hey man, we're trying to learn how to use this thing, learn how to talk about this place. Can't say enough, good people, nice park. Again, fresh concrete, coming up on one of their uh, aggressive speed bumps. These things will really slow you down. That's what they're intended to do. They really want you to walk that 10 miles an hour, and those speed bumps right there, they do the trick. Let me tell you, those things will slow you down. They don't have them on the main road coming in and out of the place. They do have them and it's good. There are kids here sometimes. People walking their pets. It's just nice to have. So I would say that probably three fourths of the RVs here are relatively new. Our motorhome is one of the older ones here, but not the oldest. And uh, it's good. What else is going on? Oh, we're coming up here to a uh, mobile home. Not motor home, a mobile home. It's a single wide. And uh, the folks here um, very much keep to themselves. They seem to be very nice. They wave if you're, pol if you're polite and respectful. They do not want your pets on their yard and uh, messing up their messing up the garden so you'll see that they'll have the odd sign there that says you know basically keep off the grass right but hey you know that's how it is people are here and they need quiet they want to rest they're retiring on a budget you know it's all good it's all good okay so All right, coming up. Oh, looks like some wind is blowing some chairs around a little bit, but that's all right. There's been some storms that came through a few days ago, and uh, you know, things happen. Things happen. I'm really going to be curious to hear how this wind sounds, and I do not have some of the lenses for this. And I'm doing this as a test to see in this very, very gray, grayed out area if we need those lenses. I suspect we do. And I suspect that buying the, the good lenses would be a big help. But, you know, trying to minimize expense. Yeah, yeah. Dodge truck running open. Probably seal pipe in that muffler, who knows. All right, come back around and um, I'm about to sign off here in a minute. So listen, appreciate you walking with me. Appreciate you taking a listen. And I sure do appreciate the folks at Cicada Springs RV Park for letting this, letting this old guy and that old gal Stay, stay a while. Thanks, folks. Bye.